Hi gang, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Annie. Today we're in still this kind of series of doing some lighter, healthier meals with a lot of vegetables, totally vegetable focused. Slightly meat some of the time, but and or fish, but lots of vegetables. Today we're working on a recipe that's on page 12 in the Orange Book, and it is called, in the Orange Book, Hearty Greens with uh, toasted cumin, beans, beets, and um, chef. So essentially what this is, is a Mexican inspired, uh, Latin inspired roasted veggies is with some, with some deliciousness added in. Well, that already sounds delicious, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roast some beets and that's gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna start that. I'm gonna start them on the stove first pop them in. So these are beets that are actually, these are the last beets from the garden, from last summer's, from the, the end of, let's just, it would be fun to say this, the end of 2020. The last beets from 2020. Now we're into a whole new year. I just like saying that. All right, so the Beets are in the pan. They're going to take some time. I'm going to put some salt, pepper, there's a little oil there also. And then when these are nearly done, nearly roasted, um, I'm going to add the beets to this pan. Stand by while I get myself a hot pad. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now because the leeks will end up cooking too quickly and um, kind of getting like almost crispy and a little scorched. They just need a little less time than the beef do. So off that heat goes into the oven. That goes. And now, while that's cooking, I'm going to show you a little bit about what to do with the kale because the kale is our hearty green. Now you could use... Um, collard greens or Brussels sprouts, if you grow your own um, Brussels sprouts, you can use the leaves on those Brussels sprout plants or um, same thing with broccoli leaves. You can use the leaves on the broccoli plants. So what I'm doing right now is what I call zipping the kale, which is I'm taking the greens right off this stalk until it gets to a point where it breaks. This is sometimes edible, but mostly I find this is edible when you've just picked it from the garden. When you start to break them and you get this little fiber thing that happens at the same time, that's going to be unpleasant when you go to eat it. So if you want to eat the, the stalks, then you at least need to kind of think about half of it. Now see, I broke that one and there's still a little like tip that wanted to stay. That's fiber that's not going to be, I mean we want fiber in our diet, but not that much fiber. So then I'm going to work my way through, what? don't she go anywhere, I'm going to work my way through this, um, cut this down coarsely. This is what's going to end up getting um, seared quickly with the toasted cumin. And then once the beets and the leeks are done, I'll come back to you and we'll show you how to complete the rest of the dish. Alrighty, so those beets and leeks are almost done. And I thought while we're waiting for the last little bit of them and their cooking, we could fit, move on to the kale. So the first thing that we're going to do is toast the cumin. And how you do that is a little bit of it goes into the bottom of the pan. And this takes no time at all. But it really, this is called blooming the spice. It really releases the oils from the spice. And it's maybe at the most 30 seconds, and how you can tell whether it's actually working or not, you're ready to move on, is you kind of take your hand and waft it towards you, and if you're really getting that, the spice of it, you're done. So then, a little oil and the kale. I love that sound. Goes into the pan. And then, of course, we need to do some salt and pepper. And I always, I always am really delicate with salt when I'm salting um, greens that are going to get wilted because 
you have a tendency, it's like a lot in the pan, right? You have a tendency to salt the whole thing in the pan. And then when, once it's wilted, that salt concentrates. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, my greens are too salty. So you can always add a little bit more, but go easy when you're wilting greens. Little black pepper. And then a little turnaroo. Everybody stay in the pan. Behave yourselves. All right. So then, while the kale's cooking, let's get that avocado ready to go on top, too. We're going to end up heating up the beans in this pot, too. So, we'll probably move this over. A little avocado. So, I've already taken the um, skin off that avocado. And I'm just going to do some nice slices of it. Okay, so we'll end up splaying those nicely on the, on the top. And then, then let's see, a little, little less, a little more KO time, and then um, I'm going to pull out the... tiny bit of time and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so the kale had just a little bit more time in the pan. Into that same pan, I put a can of beans, black beans, and they are now also, that didn't take long at all, two seconds or so. So, now a little bit of black bean is going to go on top of the kale. And then the beets and the, hold on just a second, I want to get a different spoon. Okay, here we go. Um, the beets and the leeks are going to go on top. Right? And then we're going to squeeze a little lime juice on top of that. And add, you know, tuck that little lime in there. A little bit of avocado next to that. And sprinkle a little bit of, dot it with a little chev. And we're all set. So this is another healthy, vegetable-based, little bit of bean, no carbohydrates, a little bit of dairy dish for you guys with not that much effort. Okay, so everyone, that concludes this episode of Cooking with Annie. Until next time, everybody be well, stay safe, be kind.